Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled episode of Resto Rob. Today, we have a 12-inch adjustable wrench uh, manufactured by Wright. Um, so, uh, it came in the tool haul, so I wanted to clean it up. And um, this video will be my little tool haul and the cleanup of the uh, right wrench. So today's tool haul, some of these things I started cleaning up, others I haven't. Um, we have this handyman, Stanley. Um, needs to be cleaned up, obviously. Um, flat blade. And it in this video, you'll see me uh, clean this one up. Uh, this pair of channel lock needle nose pliers, um, I've already gone and I've cleaned them up. And, yeah. Um, also, we've got this uh, red-handled Craftsman. Phillips. Oh, Velichek. I've already started cleaning this up. Um, this here is another Velichek. Velichek. That's going to be cleaned up. Got us a little P and C. Um, wrench, and another baby PNC wrench, and finally this Billings wrench. This other Stanley handyman, I already started working on this one. And we got ourselves this Melco HD1, which is quarter inch drive. But that's, I thought that was a pretty cool Melco. And last up, we got this little advertising screwdriver for our buddy Vic. So, oh, I forgot to mention. This is a Bridgeport um, bell system, and we are kind of mi we are missing the cap. So I'm gonna have to come up with a cap or make a cap. Any suggestions? So next, next, let's just go and clean this up, and well, I'll show you how I clean this up. It's a pretty, pretty cool wrench. So, uh, up next, this. Okay, in my uh, tool haul travels, I've come across this Wright USA 12-inch uh, uh, adjustable. We're going to see what we can do to uh, get it back up and going. It doesn't spin. But, uh, let's go from there. So here's, after I wire wheeled it, just kind of get a better evaluation of what it's going to be like. So this is all frozen up, so let's see if we can get it unfrozen. So, with the use of the torch and some WD-40, we got this thing to break free. So, actually it goes pretty smooth. Um, our next thing is the pin. 
I don't know if you can. I don't know how well we can see that. There is no way to unscrew it. So we're gonna have to figure that one out. really don't want to drill it out so let's just uh, try cleaning it up as it's assembled and uh, try to see how careful we can get because I mean it does work so let's go from there so we got our angle grinder with a kind of worn flat disc let's go with that one So here is our post um, angle grind. Um, so I got all the pittings out and other than the inside. Um, that's pretty difficult. Um, might have to do a little bit more here on the edges. Yeah, so we're gonna go on to sanding. Um, next and show you how that works out. Okay, here we go. This has been sanded. Start out with uh, 80 grit, work my way all the way to 400 grit. So uh, let's uh, clean this up a little bit and see where we're at, what it looks like. Well, it looks pretty good. So I think what we'll do is we'll buff it out with the buffing wheel and see where we're at from there. So again, thank you for watching and um, seeing my uh, restoration of this wrench. Um, as always, we like to thank Scott Crafter. Um, yeah, this is the Utica pliers that uh, he told you guys all about. So uh, yeah, awesome. Thank you, Scott Crafter. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you everybody for watching and leaving comments. Um, I really truly appreciate all that. So uh, until next time, we'll check you later. Check you later.